Okay, students, now comes question number 42. It says find the Laplace transform of this function, f of t to sine squared 40 over t. So in order to do this, you need to recall again Laplace transform properties. If you remember, students, we have uh, seen Laplace of a certain function f of t over t, division by t, and we obtain that, or we say that that is the integral of the Laplace transform of f of t, which is f of s, the numerator one. So we need to first find the Laplace of the numerator, and then we will directly take the integral of that one from s to infinity, right? That was, you see, what was studied in, in the case of property of what Laplace transform. So first, let's now find Laplace transform of the numerator. So uh, before we go to that, we need to recall uh, this uh, trigonometric identity. We say that sine squared t is half of 1 minus cos 2t. So the Laplace of sine 2 times sine squared 40 will be uh, log 2 can be taken out because of linearity. And sine squared 40 is directly take this one, 1 over 2, 1 minus cos uh, 8t. Uh, the reason why I'm ha having 8 here is this is defined for sine squared t, but now I'm interested to know what sine squared 40 is. So in place of t here, you see log 40 is used. So you need to put 40 again here in place of t, and 40 times 2 makes 8t. Okay, 8t. So 2 can be cancelled by 2 because 1 over 2 can be taken out. So now we need to find Laplace of 1 minus cos 8t. 8t. And we know that Laplace of 1 is 1 over s. And Laplace, of course, a t is s over s squared plus 64. So we are having this, see, 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 64. So, dear students, the Laplace of the numerator is obtained. This can be shown, the numerator with this. So the Laplace of the numerator is obtained. So if you remember, one of the properties of this Laplace transform said that the Laplace of a certain function divided by t is the integral of the function of s is the Laplace transform of the numerator, which actually this one, you see, the integral of this one from s to infinity. So I'm going to apply that. So look, here it is. This is the what property? The Laplace of the function divided by t is s to integral from s to infinity of f of s, ds. So this is going to be equivalent to the integral from s to infinity of where the function you obtained, the function you obtained here is here. So you simply copy this and paste here, 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 64 ds. So now we need to determine Laplace of, I mean the integral of this. And this can be done in the following way. So look, this is improper integral, so we can directly change this to this form. The limit as big going to infinity of, uh, we know that the integral of uh, this is ln s. So you see, the integral of ln s minus half of ln of, you see, uh, s squared plus 64 can come. So for this, you may use integration by substitution. You may use u to be s squared plus 64. So the derivative of u will be 2 s ds. So you can take 1 over 2 out as a common, as I took it, as I took here out. So uh, as you are, you see, evaluating b and s one by one, you are going to come across with this expression. It's a matter of recalling how uh, improper integral is performed. So you are going to have this. Now the question is, how can we, how can this be done? Basically, this one over two can be taken up here, and this can turn to radical expression. Okay, the same can be done here, radical expression. So uh, the two are separated by, you see, negative, and ln is a logarithm with base e, so they are having same base. So I can unite these two by over, right? By division, I can unite these two. I can combine. So this will be like this, the limit as b going to infinity of ln of, look, this is b already, and this is square root of b square plus 64. This square root comes because of this 1 over 2. We can take this 1 over 2 as exponent here. So it goes to, it's going to be like this. You need to recall properties of logarithm for this. Minus ln of, do the same here. You see, s over, this 1 over 2 can be taken up, then square root of a square plus 64 can come. So, look here, students, the square root of b squared, you see, uh, is almost what? Uh, b, as b goes to infinity, so the degrees are identical. So, this limit is going to be, I mean, this limit is going to be 1. 
So LAN can be taken out because it is, you see, a, an external function. So the internal one will have a limit uh, one, and LAN one makes zero, right? LAN one makes zero, and zero minus this expression. Zero minus this expression is a negative of LAN of this expression. And as you know, this negative can be taken up, and negative one can come somewhere over here. And this can be taken to be the reciprocal, right? Because as you are having minus one, you see there, uh, this can be taken the reciprocal. So this is going to be ln of, look, this is going to be ln of uh, the square root of s square plus 64 over s. Because as I said, this is uh, ln, uh, this is one, and ln one makes zero. Zero minus ln of this expression, because of this minus here, I can take this negative one up, and up uh, somewhere over here, and we can take the reciprocal of this expression, and then ln of the square root of s squared plus 64 over s can come. So, dear students, the Laplace transform of this function now is obtained to be uh, ln of the square root of s squared plus 64 over s. Here it is done. And next is question number 43, and it's about uh, finding Laplace inverse of 6s over 6s squared plus 1 and you also uh, are asked to determine uh, this integral 0 to infinity of is a power of minus 2t cosine of t over radical 6 dt so uh, something different here this is l is a power of minus 1 and we call it Laplace inverse so Laplace inverse is a reverse process of Laplace what has been taken by Laplace is returned by Laplace inverse. So the input for Laplace inverse is going to be function of s because the output for Laplace is a function of s. The input for the Laplace is a function of t and the output for Laplace inverse is, you see, a function of t. So uh, what has been taken by is Laplace is returned by, return, returned by this Laplace inverse, that is the idea. So, uh, asking this question means, you see, finding a function whose Laplace can be is the inner expression here, 6s over 6s squared plus 1. So, how this is done? Let me show you. The solution runs like this. Laplace inverse of 6s over 6s squared plus 1 is equivalent to this one. You can take 6 out because Laplace inverse again undergoes linearity property. Here, take 6 as a common out, so then s squared plus 1 over 6 can come. And again here students, 6 can be taken out and 6 can be cancelled by 6. And what's coming here is Laplace inverse of s over s squared plus 1 over 6. And in order to what adjust this in such a way that we can directly use cos, I can write this 1 over 6 as the square root of, you see, 1 over 6 is a whole squared. Remember, the Laplace of cos 80 was s over s squared plus s squared. So in order to adjust in that form, I can write this as, you see, 1 over radical 6 is a whole squared. But we know that this is 1 over radical 6 is a whole squared. And here, hence, since we are having a numerator S here, cos comes, and this is 1 over radical 6 T. 1 over radical 6 T. It is a Laplace of this student that can make this one in another way. So, if you know what Laplace of a certain function is, it is so simple to, re to remember what Laplace inverse of that function is. So, the Laplace of this cosine of 1 over radical 60 is going to be this one. Now, look, already Laplace inverse of the given function is determined. So, what, is me, what, what do you mean by saying this? This means, students, the Laplace of cosine of, you see, the Laplace of the obtained expression here, cosine of 1 over radical 60 is the integral from 0 to infinity, look, I'm now applying the definition. The Laplace of f of t is, is a power of minus s t times f of t dt, as you, as you knew from the definition. So the Laplace of cosine of 1 over radical 6 t will be the integral from 0 to infinity of is a power of minus s t times cosine of, look, I'm going to take this function as it is directly inside the integral, cos of t over radical 6 dt. Now, this is already obtained has been said that this is equivalent to 6s over 6s squared plus 1. Now, dear student, there is one thing that I would like to, take, to tell you here. Lock this integration. This integration is actually the same as this one. The only difference that you can observe here is, you look, in place of s, 2 is used. So if you put 2 in s, this will be identical with the question at hand. As you are putting 2 here, you need to put again 2 here in s. 
and then a certain output can be obtained and that is what you are looking for right so uh, taking this to be two one can easily obtain the following one look this is e to the power of minus 2t times cosine of t radical 6 dt, the one you are having. And this is equivalent to 2, 6 times 9 place of is half 2 again. Here, here also 2 squared plus 1. And this makes 12, and this is 24 plus 1, 25. So this result, without performing any sort of, you see, uh, integration technique, we can obtain that to be 25, thanks to this Laplace transformation. I hope you have understood it.